Hello and welcome to today's science lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello. hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. When you're ready guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. And next we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we can begin by stretching up high to the sky. As high as we can. And then let's go down low. Touch our toes. And now... Let's go back up high one more time. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And while we're there, let's have a wave. And then back down to touch our toes once more. And then stand up and have a shake, guys. Arms and legs, let's shake it out. Shake it out. And now we'll do some rotations. We'll go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Very good, guys. And next, we'll take our right hand and we'll find our left foot. Then left hand, right foot. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Final couple now. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Brilliant. And now let's have another little shake. Arms and legs. And to finish, we will do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant. Have a seat. So today, we're going to start learning more about a type of living thing that we've already learned some things about. Can anybody remember what type of living things we learned about, guys? We learned about animals? Yes. Plants, yes. Today we're going to start another section and we're going to look at the first category of living things that we were introduced to last time. And they are plants. 
Yes, so let's write that in words on the board first, guys. Plants. P L A N T S. We have plants. All together, guys, plants. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to do a board exercise. I'm going to draw a diagram of a plant. And let's see if we can remember some of the various parts of the plants that we've learned about already. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll draw a line here. And this line represents the ground. Underneath the ground is the soil. So can anybody remember what do we call the parts of the plant that go underground into the soil, guys? These are the things that keep the plant anchored to the soil. Does anybody remember what they're called? Begins with R. Roots. roots. Excellent. And how do we spell roots? R O O T S. Excellent. So the first part of the plant, and the one that we can't often see because it's underground, roots. And then, coming up out of the ground. Perfect. Very well remembered, guys. The next part of the plant, the one that comes from out of the soil and brings the plant up into the air, is the stem. S T E M. And like I've explained in previous lessons, the stem is like the skeleton of the plant. The stem will take all the different parts of the plant to where they need to go. So off the stem, we might have things like, yes, you see? Coming off the stem, we have various types of things beginning with L, leaves. L, E, A, V, E, S, leaves. And notice the plural because we have more than one. There is usually many leaves on a plant. So, so far we have roots, stem, leaves. And then some flowers also have pretty little things on top. Yes. Not all plants have them, but some plants do. And we can usually tell about the plants by that have flowers with the colours. Plants that don't have flowers are usually just green or maybe even brown. But we can see that with plants that have flowers, they will have many different pretty colours. And how do we spell flowers, guys? F L O W E R S. Flowers. Yes. And can you remember something else that some flower or some plants have too? Things that we can pick off and eat. Fruit. Yes. Not all plants. In fact, most plants don't have fruits, but some do. And can anybody remember some of the types of fruits that we can get on plants? Beginning with B. Remember the banana. Banana plant. Yes. So some Plants too have items of fruit like bananas. And how we won't say bananas, what we'll say, we'll use the group term fruits. F R U I T S. So here we have our diagram of a plant. And you can see some of the many different parts of the plant that we have learned about already. Roots. Underground, anchor the plant to the soil. Stem. Stem is like the skeleton of the plant. It will transport all the different parts to where they need to go. Leaves. Yes. Flowers. And fruits. Yes. So remember, Plants are a living thing. Can you tell me two things that plants need to survive? 
Think about living things. What two things, like humans, like we need, what two things do plants need to survive? I'll give you a clue. The first word begins with F. What do we need to do? Food. F O O D. And then the second thing, just like us, when we're thirsty, what do we need to drink? Water. Food. And actually, we're going to say a third thing because plants won't survive without it. What is the energy? What is the energy that comes from the sky? The sun. S U N. And then we can say sunlight. L I G H T. So, because a plant is a living thing, similar to us, we're living things too. And we need food, water, and sunlight. And without them three things, living things such as plants and humans cannot survive. So well done guys, that was very well remembered. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at a PowerPoint and video presentation because we're going to learn more about plants and also the life cycle of a plant. Because it's a living thing, a plant not so much born, a plant is grown. But at the end of its life cycle, a plant will die, just like all living things. And we're going to learn more about the life cycle of the plant today too. So let's turn to have a look at the TV screen, guys. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation about plants. Plants. Introduction. Introduction. Yes. And in our picture here, guys, you can see many different types of plants. Here is the flower pots that the plants, or the plant pots that they will grow out of. Plants, plants. Are, made up are made up of many, of many different, parts. different parts. Yes, just like we learned earlier with our board diagram. The things that anchor the plant to the soil are roots. And then the main body of the plant which rises up out the ground is the stem. And then coming off the stem we have leaves. And then some plants also have pretty things with lots of colours. Flowers. Yes. And again, as I've mentioned earlier, some plants even have fruits. The roots anchor the plant to the soil. And what the word anchor means, it means keep in place. The plant can't move anywhere. If the wind blows, the plant will stay where it is because the roots anchor it to the soil. Roots also, roots also absorb, absorb water, water and, minerals. and minerals. What that means, the word absorb means the roots will take in the water and the minerals. It will bring it into the plant. Then the stem, the stem transports, transports water and food around the plant. Yes, once the water and the minerals or the food is in the plant, it's the stem that will take the food and water to the different parts so that everywhere in the plant gets fed and gets watered. The water is here, the stem can travel the water all the way up to the leaves. The stem also provides support to leaves and flowers. Yes, here we can see the pretty flowers and the leaves. But they'd fall down onto the ground if there was nothing to be on. 
And that's what we mean by the stem. You can see the little brown twigs or the brown sticks here. This is the stem. And the leaves and the flowers grow off the stem. That's why I say the stem is like the skeleton of the plant. And leaves capture sunlight to help make food for the plant. Yes, that's why normally on the plant you'll see leaves high up because the leaves have to be high to capture the sunlight. And that helps the plant make food. Plants make food through photosynthesis. Yes, photosynthesis is the process of plants making food. And what do they need? They need sunlight, water, minerals, and also carbon dioxide. And then the plants can make food. And the food is produced in the form of sugar. And do you know how plants help us to live? Humans need to breathe in oxygen. Now happily, the plants breathe the oxygen out. We breathe the oxygen in. And when we breathe out, we produce carbon dioxide. And the plant needs the carbon dioxide to breathe. So plants and humans help each other by breathing in and breathing out. Many plants also produce flowers. And we can tell the flowers by their pretty colours. You see, flowers can be many different colours. Let's see, what colours can we see in this picture, guys? Right. And where are all the colours from? Flowers. All of the different colours in this picture are the flowers. And that's what makes the picture look pretty. Some plants also grow fruits, such as strawberries and blueberries. Yes. What fruit can we see in this picture? What colour? Red. red strawberries, yes. Red strawberries grow on plants. And we've seen other types of fruits too. Bananas, Bananas. apples, apples. Raspberries, raspberries, blueberries. blueberries. I, th I think if a fruit ends with the word berries, they come from plants. Okay? And here we have Plant life, cycle. plant life cycle. Now what this means is because a plant is a living thing, there needs to be a beginning and an end. So you see, the first thing that a plant starts life as, a seed. seed. Yes. Then we have to put the seed into the soil. Then when the seed, like an egg, begins to hatch a little bit, we have... Germination. Germination. Yes, this is the plant starting to grow. You see the first part here? And then the first part of the plant that grow roots inside the soil and stem. Yes. Then, after we've got roots and stem, we'll have seedling. Now, seedling is when the leaves begin to appear. You can see in this picture here that the seedling has the leaves. And then finally, or well not finally, but next, if the plant produces flowers, it produces flowers through something called pollination. Yes, it's pollen that helps produce flowers. But then, what's the final thing that happens to a plant? Now remember, a plant is a living thing. What happens to all living things in the end? Dies. Dies. Yes. 
a plant will die in the end. All living things will die. Any questions, guys? No. Okay. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation and the video about plants and how we can learn to understand the life cycle of a plant from the beginning to the end. Because after all, plants are living things too. And we've got a flashcard exercise soon coming up. But for now, guys, it's our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this sequence, we're going to have a game of teacher says. So let's listen carefully, okay? If teacher says, we can do. If teacher doesn't say, don't do. So teacher says, hands on head. Teacher says, touch your knees. Teacher says, hands on shoulders. Touch your nose. Teacher says, arms in the air. Arms down. Teacher says, keep your arms in the air. Teacher says, arms down. Teacher says, turn around. Turn back the other way. Teacher says, turn the other way. Excellent. And now, teacher says, walking on the spot. Teacher says, jogging on the spot. Stop. Teacher says, walking on the spot. Jogging on the spot. <laughs> Teacher says, stop. Teacher says, into a little ball. Five, four, three, two, one. Teacher says, to jump. <laughs> and teacher says, sit down. Excellent, guys. Well done. Teacher says, it's now time for our flashcard exercise. So teachers, what you'll need to do is print out all the flash sheets for this exercise of the lesson plan. And then put the pictures and the words into separate flashcards. What we're going to do, we're going to bring the vocabulary, the words out first, have our students practice speaking. Then we're going to bring the pictures out to demonstrate the life cycle of a plant from the first picture right through to the end. And what our students will need to do, they'll need to bring their picture forward and match it with the correct vocabulary. So the words in no particular order, but when we bring the pictures out, they have to be in the correct sequence. But first of all, guys, let's have a look at the vocabulary. So, our first word, can we say, germination. Germination. Yes, germination is part of the plant life cycle. But which part? For now, we'll just put the vocabulary at the bottom. Next we have... Roots and stem. Roots and stem. So this is two parts of the plant that we know already. Plant seeds, okay? So plant seeds too. These are all stages in the life cycle of a plant. Seedling, seedling. Remember before from the PowerPoint presentation, seedling. Now a long word, pollination, pollination. of flowers. Of flowers. Yes, so when a plant pollinates, we get flowers so that's a big clue flowers next we have fruit grows yes some plants will grow fruit so we're going to include it not all plants but some plants do so we'll include it and again fruit is the clue and then finally Plant dies. Yes, just like all living things will, the plant dies in the end. So what we've got, we've got our life cycle vocabulary on the board. 
Now we will give it its title before introducing the pictures. So plant guys, P, L, A, N, T. Life, L, I, F, E. And cycle, C, Y, C, L, E. So we've got our vocabulary, plant dies, fruit grows, seedling, germination, roots and stem, plant seeds, pollination of flowers. So now we're ready for our pitches. So what I'll do, I'll ask my students to close their eyes. I will give one student a picture, and this is where they have to be in the correct sequence. So the first picture will be the first stage, and our students then have to match the picture with the vocabulary. Okay, so now I have given the first picture to my student, Nadia. Nadia, come and bring the first picture forward for me, please. So this picture is the first stage in the life cycle of a plant. Here we are, guys. Okay, so this is the first picture. Nadia, can you place it on the left-hand side of the board? Excellent. Okay, so we've got the picture, but now we need the word. What's the first thing that happens? Before it's a plant, what can you say? Not die. Die is the end. What do plants start off life as? What do we need to put into the soil? Seeds. Plant seeds. So Nadia, can you take this flashcard? Excellent. And then we can place it into the correct picture. Okay, so we've got stage one all together. We ready, guys? Plant seeds. One more time, Nadia. Plant seeds. Step one in the life cycle of the plant. Nadia, that was brilliant. High five. Big round of applause for Nadia. Okay, so that's step one in the life cycle of a plant. Plant seeds. Now for step two. But which vocabulary, guys? So now the second stage in the life cycle of the plant will go to student Chu. Chu, can you bring it forward and show it to our friends? Okay, and hold your picture up high to see. So here we go, guys. We can see the plant is starting to change from the seed into the plant proper. And this is the second stage in the life cycle. So Chu, can you place it next to stage one? Excellent. Okay, so this stage, I'll give you a clue. It's a word beginning with G. Germination. Excellent. Well done, Shu. Well spotted. So we can place germination under the second stage. Germination is the stage when the plant moves out from being the seed and starts to grow proper. So one more time, guys. Germination. Excellent. Shu, that was brilliant. High five. Big round of applause. So teachers, you can see the activity we're doing in our classroom now. You can pause the video and carry on with your own students for around 10 minutes. And remember, organize the pictures into the correct sequence prior to the lesson. It doesn't matter about the vocabulary, but the life cycle pictures need to be in the correct stage. So now for stage three. Okay, so stage number three. And go to student down, down. Bring the picture forward for me, please. And present it to your friends. Excellent. So, guys, remembering back to the parts of the plant, stage three. What parts do we begin to see of the plant? Roots and stem. Excellent. So, down. can we place stage three next to stage two? Perfect. And now we're looking for roots and stem. Perfect, it's nearly there already. Excellent, well done, Down. So you can see stage three, roots and stem. One more time, roots and stem. Down, that was brilliant. 
High five and a big round of applause for Dan. Okay, so after stage three, what stage comes next? Stage four, okay. Okay, and now Pang Pon has stage four. So Pang Pon, can you come and bring stage four and show it to your friends? Okay, so what can we see now on our plant? Beginning with L? Leaves. Okay, now the part of a life cycle of a plant when it begins to produce its leaves, we've already seen the word seed, but then it's a little bit longer. Seedling, seedling. So now, Bang Pon, can you place step four next to step three? And then we're looking for not seeds, we're looking for seedling. Seedling is, here we go, excellent. So Pang Pong can take seedling and place seedling here. Excellent. So, so far, guys, four stages. Plant seeds, germination, roots and stem, seedling. Pang Pong, that was excellent. High five and a big round of applause. And now we're ready for step number five. Okay, five can go to Lakgao, I think. Okay, so step number five, Lakgao, can you come and show your friends? And step number five can sometimes be the prettiest stage of a plant's life. What can we see in the plant now, guys? Flowers. Now, a plant will produce flowers by something called pollination. So Lakgao, can you play stage five on the board? And then, can we see the word flowers anywhere? Flowers, pollination of flowers, yes. Excellent. So we can see here that when a plant produces flowers, not all do, but if they do, it's called pollination of flowers. Excellent, Lakau. well done. High five, big round of applause for Lakau. <laughs> some plants might produce something else. And what might they be? So here we go now for Pat. Pat, can you bring the flashcard forward, please? Now let's see what we can see on this picture, guys. What can you see? Yeah. Cherries. Now what type of thing are cherries? Fruits, yes. So we've already learned that some plants may produce fruits. So Pat, can you place the picture in the next cycle? And then we're looking for something in connection with fruits. What can we find? Fruit grows, yes. That's it, Pat. So bring it forward and you can place it under this picture here. You see, if a plant produces fruit, we can say fruit grows. Excellent, Pat, very well done. High five, big round of applause. And now for the final stage in the life of a plant. Okay, so now the final stage in the life of a plant, Pro will bring the picture forward. And can you show it to your friends, please, guys? What do we think? Yes, look at the plant. Does the plant look healthy? No, the plant's not healthy. The plant looks like it's already or about to die. So, Pro, can you place it next to stage number six? Excellent. And we only have one piece of vocabulary left. Okay, brilliant. And we can place it here. So now we have all of the different stages in the life of a plant. Number one, Plant seeds. Plant seeds. Number two, germination. germination. Three, roots and, roots and stem. Four, seedling. seedling. When the leaves begin to grow. And then, pollination, pollination. Of, flowers. of flowers. If a flower, if a plant produces flowers, it's pollination. And then, if a plant produces fruit, we say 
fruit grows. And then finally, like all living things, plant dies. Prow, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Prow, guys. And a round of applause for everyone for doing a great job. And now it's time for the worksheet part of the lesson. So teachers, give a student each a worksheet. And what we have is we have a series of eight sentences. Each sentence has a word that is missing. And each of the words is in our word box. All of the sentences are in connection with plants that we learned earlier in the PowerPoint presentation. Our students need to read each sentence and try to figure out which is the missing word and write it correctly in the space provided. So what's the first thing to do, guys? Write our names on top. And give our students around 10 minutes for this activity and just monitor the class and give them anything they need. So Chu, this one's for you. You're welcome. Pat, for you. Nadia, for you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Ned. You're welcome, Dan. Pak Boon, you're welcome. Bang Bun, you're welcome. And Lak Gao. Okay. So sentence number one, guys. Something anchors the root. Uh, something anchors the plant to the soil. Roots. <laughs> I think I just said it. When we talk about a plant being anchored to the soil, roots. Roots anchor the plants to the soil. So find roots and then write it in the space provided, guys. And then you can cross it out the word box. Every word only needs to be used once. And then the something. The something transports everything around the plant. The, the stem. Remember, the stem is like the skeleton of the plant. It transports everything everywhere. The stem transports. And how about sentence three? Also provides support to leaves and... Excellent, Pak Bung. The stem provides support to leaves and flowers. And then number four. Okay, so what captures the sunlight? What do we find high up on the plant? Perfect, leaves. Leaves will capture the sunlight and transport it around the plant. So leaves for number four. And then number five, remember that really long word about plants making food photosynthesis that's the word we give to the process of a plant making food photosynthesis that's right Nadia excellent well done well done Ned excellent lack out and then number six Flowers can be many different colours. colours. Yes, we've seen in the picture before, pink, blue, yellow, white, many different colours. And then number seven, some plants produce something such as bananas and strawberries. Bananas and strawberries are Fruits, yes. Some plants produce flu fruits, such as bananas and strawberries. Perfect. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to complete the sentences with the missing word from the word box. My students here all did a great job and now we'll practice speaking together. 
roots anchor the plants to the soil. The stem transports water and food around the plant. The stem also provides support to leaves and flowers. Leaves capture sunlight to make food for the plant. Plants make food through photosynthesis. Flowers can be many different colors. Some plants produce fruits such as strawberries and bananas. Plants are an example of living things. Perfect, guys. That was excellent. Well done. <laughs> and that's all we've got time for today. So we hope you've enjoyed the lesson and learned a little bit more about plants through the presentations and the activities. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you again soon.